Good, thank you. Well, as David mentioned, the chief constables at the heart of the scandal will appear before the Home Affairs Select Committee next week. They're from West Mercia, Warwickshire and West Midlands Police. With us now is the Police and Crime Commissioner for Warwickshire, Ron Bull. You've been made a bit of a fool of, haven't you? Uh, no. Can I just take issue with just a couple of things there? Um, you can if when, you want. Um, the investigation was not carried out by the forces. Well, it, it was, but it was supervised by the IPCC. So it was a supervised investigation, which is significant. Um, so it was conducted by the police, though, wasn't it? Um, it was, and yeah. the IPCC could at any time have taken that investigation over themselves. Is it not the case that the first investigation, the first report, sorry, concluded there was a case to answer and the second one didn't? Uh, that is correct. Is it I not did also not know that, that until today. Right. Is it not also the case you didn't know that until today? Correct. When did you first become aware of this? Uh, uh, lunchtime today. What are you doing defending your chief constable then? You didn't even know what was going on. That's, a, again, I think a bit of an oversimplification. Um, I can't, I don't have the resources all the time to conduct this sort of investigation myself. We get in the professionals, the IPCC. So I have every right to expect that the IPCC will conduct a professional investigation. They have said that it was all done professionally. There is a question to answer over the changing. Um, clearly, that's the question I need to address. Is it not also the case, though, that not only did the first report conclude there was a case to answer, the second one then exonerated the men, is it not also the case that then the IPCC said, are you sure you're, you want to stick with this? Will you reconsider? Not to my knowledge. Well, that's in their letter. The, that they invited the, them to reconsider their judgment that there was no case to answer. In, uh, from the letter, in September, it appears as though they had some concerns. They, at that point, if they had those concerns, could have taken over the investigation, and they didn't. And I think that's a question. W with something as significant th as this, why were they not conducting the investigation themselves? Has the Chief Constable explained to you what happened? Um, in terms... When you say what happened, what happened in terms how, of the How they could come to two co contradictory conclusions and then apparently ignore the request from the IPCC perhaps to reconsider? Since um, I had that information, I've done nothing other than media, media interviews. I haven't had the opportunity to talk to the Chief Constable about it. I most certainly will be asking the question as to, to explain to me how that process happened. There is a potentially um, embarrassing explanation for it, but there's also a perfectly potentially innocent expl um, explanation. With any prosecution, um, there needs to be a judgment as to whether or not a sufficient level um, of proof exists to, co to continue with it. Sure. And, and in this case, there were two recordings of completely contradictory testimony. In, in the, highlighted bits of the, that evidence has been made available to, to the media. But in terms of this decision as to whether to proceed with it or not, um, different individuals came to different conclusions. There is, I'm not naive enough to believe that there isn't a potentially sinister implication for that, but there is also a potentially innocent explanation. My view is I have an open mind and I'm going to investigate that and find out what happened. Do you think you should have known before today? It would have been helpful. Are you hoping to be re-elected? Uh, too early to say. I'm loving the job, it's incredibly busy and there's a lot to do before. Rather then. unexpected apparently. Um, it was, I had no idea. On the, on the election day itself I turned up and I literally had no idea whether I was going to lose my deposit or whether I was going to get elected. Many unexpected elements to it though. It uh, yeah, but as I say, thoroughly enjoying the job, mm. stayed out of trouble so far. Um, but um, we'll, we'll see how we go from here. Okay, Rumble, thank you.